Hello guys, good evening once again. This is Mike Padua and we are back to another weather analysis and this is our English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000 for today uh, Friday to Monday March 1 to 4 2024 this is our weekend edition of our radio analysis and uh, this is in partnership with Naga College Foundation which is celebrating their 77th anniversary today until uh, actually it began yesterday until uh, tomorrow Saturday and also Aboitis Power Bank of the Philippine Islands by the way BPI has their uh, sustainable with you program if you're interested, just click on the banner up here. And also, Avenue Plaza Hotel, one of the premier hotels in Naga City. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion, and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Camaranesur, Congressman Gabriel Gabi Bordado. So let's begin with our update. Here's the latest GovSat for today, Friday, until tomorrow, Saturday. We have another surge of the Northeast Monsoon, and it's affecting extreme northern zone. It includes the northern portions of the Caribbean Valley, uh, northern portions of the Ilocos provinces, Ilocos Norte to be exact, also Batanes and Babuin Group of Islands, but the Northeast Monsoon is only concentrated here as we move into the month of March. Okay, Today is the first day of March, and we are nearing the end of the uh, Northeast Monsoon, usually uh, March 15 or uh, third week of March. And uh, we are now feeling the uh, increasing temperatures because of the approaching hot dry season. And uh, the bad news is we still have the effects of this strong El Nino. And we have here right now some easterly wind flow, warm easterly wind flow bringing dry conditions across the Vico region, eastern Visayas and eastern Mindanao. But there are some cloudiness with some showers affecting uh, some parts of Mindanao, but it is not uh, uh, strong enough to generate some good uh, uh, rainfall across the island of Mindanao. So the rest of our country is under uh, very low rainfall rates for the month of uh, uh, February and it will continue to March, April until May since we are still feeling the effects of El Nino although by uh, mm, this month March until April El Nino will rapidly return back to neutral conditions or normal conditions of our climate but uh, by, by June to the end of the year we expect another uh, counterpart of El Nino known as La Nina, which means instead of below average rainfall, we will be having above average rainfall. But so far on the latest, uh, uh, forecast, it looks like we are moving into a week. Okay. A week, uh, La Nina. So let's prepare for that. And, uh, Outside of power, we don't have any developing LPA, so a tropical cyclone in sight. We just have here some cloudiness near the equator, known as the near equatorial trough. Okay, and we have a frontal system here all the way uh, over to Japan, and it's not expected to affect our country. There's no tail end whatsoever, so we expect continuing uh, dry conditions through the middle part of March. And uh, for the fast animation, nothing to show you here. Here's the uh, large frontal system zoom, zooming, zooming past Japan. And we have here some cloudiness of the near equatorial trough, not expected to become an LPA. And for the zoom in satellite animation, everything is uh, quiet beginning at around uh, 5 p.m. this uh, afternoon and uh, until 10:30 uh, this evening. Everything is quiet dry and uh, uh, light winds from the east will prevail across the eastern sections of Bigol, Eastern Visayas and Mindanao. There are some cloudiness over portions of Mindanao and uh, some showers but it's not enough to uh, bring uh, the total or the uh, right amount of rainfall across Visayas and uh, Palawan. As you can see here there are some scattered rain showers 
okay and for the uh, wind pressure uh, and the rain forecast from the European model today until tomorrow Saturday we have here the northeast monsoon but uh, tomorrow late Saturday the northeast monsoon will rapidly weaken it will affect only extreme northern Luzon particularly the coastal areas of Ilocos Norte while the rest of uh, the Philippine Islands will remain calm to light winds from the northeast and on Sunday the northeast monsoon will again weaken into northeasterly trade winds uh, while over the Bicol region eastern sections of central Luzon, Mimaropa, Visayas and eastern Mindanao the winds will shift back blowing from the east okay and on Monday we expect uh, easterlies to uh, prevail across the uh, uh, three-fourths of the country while southeasterly winds over extreme northern Luzon so we are now feeling the effects of uh, increasing high temperatures as we move into the hot dry season we don't have uh, summer season okay just to correct you guys because uh, summer is only in areas where uh, they have four seasons okay and here in the tropics since we are above the equator up to 24 degrees or 25 degrees north latitude we only experience two seasons namely the wet and dry where in uh, uh, the dry season is from November to uh, June and it's divided into two the cool dry season from November to February and from March to May it's the hot dry season okay and that's where we uh, borrow the name quote unquote summer during the hot dry season but uh, technically and scientifically it's wrong we don't have any summer it's just the hot dry season summer season is from June 21st to September 22nd and that's over areas like uh, Eastern China, Japan, these areas, okay, Korea, wherein they have four seasons. So uh, uh, since we are uh, we were occupied by the Americans and the Spaniards, they have four seasons. That's why that's why when they uh, arrive on the Philippine Islands, they use this uh, summer kind of weather during the hot dry season of the Philippine Islands. So that's the way it goes. Sometimes it's already ingrained in our uh, minds. Uh, so Filipinos uh, often forget, for, forget that we don't have summer season but only dry season. Okay? So uh, to move forward, the rainfall accumulation forecast, it's nothing to see except for the uh, northernmost part of Luzon. Northern portions of uh, Cagayan, there will be some light showers. This is due to the northeast monsoon, the uh, mild one, only affecting uh, the extreme northern parts of Luzon. The rest of the archipelago will remain dry. Uh, there's no rainfall for the next three days through the weekend. And for the wave forecast, courtesy of uh, European model, Right now, we have uh, wave heights of up to 2 meters across the eastern uh, waters of the Philippine Sea, those uh, to the east of uh, northern and central Luzon, while over Bicol, up to the eastern uh, coastal waters of Mindanao, we'll be having uh, wave heights of 2.3, 2.5 meters, while over the northern portion of the West Philippine Sea, and including Batanes, we will be having some wave heights of 2.5 to 3 meters, and these are dangerous to small sea crafts okay and uh, risky uh, among uh, fishermen who will try to have some fishing activities during uh, today and tomorrow while over the inland portions of the philippine islands or the inland waters there will be wave heights of uh, 0.3 up to one meter it's very safe and uh, uh, in the morning, it's uh, calm. While over the West Philippine Sea, wave heights will be from 1.3 to 1.5 meters. By tomorrow, Saturday, 
uh, same situation here okay 2 to 2.5 meters while 3 meters over the northern portions of the West Philippine Sea and the coastal waters of uh, uh, extreme northern Luzon including uh, Ilocos uh, provinces and uh, Batanes Babuin Kobo Islands wave heights of 2.5 to 3 meters dangerous to small sea crafts while the rest of the uh, West Philippine Sea the inland waters of the Philippine Islands from Sulu Archipelago, Sibuyan, Visayan and the Bohol Sea are expected to have wave heights from calm conditions to 1.0 meters. So it's very nice to have some fishing activity here and travel by sea. Also on Sunday, but you can clearly see here through uh, Monday, March 4, the wave heights over the uh, East Philippine Sea or those facing the Pacific Ocean from east of northern Luzon, east of Bicol, east of Visayas, and east of Mindanao, wave heights will dramatically improve to around uh, 1.5 to 2 meters, okay? While very calm conditions up to 1.0 or 0 0.8 meter will be expected over the inland waters as well as over the uh, West Philippine Sea from 1 to 1.5 meters. So uh, let's now move to the latest global topics hazards outlook this was issued last wednesday valid for the next two to three weeks we're in the third week is uh, highly uncertain let's begin now with the uh, week two valid march 6 to march 12 it looks like the philippine islands will remain under below average rainfall of more than 65 percent while over to the southern hemisphere West of Australia, over the Indian, uh, South Indian Ocean, there will be a very high probability of a tropical cyclone uh, formation. Since it's, the, it's still their typhoon or cyclone season from November to April. While on week 3, valid uh, March 13 to March 19, which is highly uncertain, the Philippine Islands will uh, still be below average rainfall of more than 90 or 80 percent. You can clearly see here, here, here's the historical range of the probability, more than 80% over Mindanao, Visayas, Mimaropa. While Luzon will be under the uh, influence of the hot dry season, it will still be hot and dry, so without any uh, amounts of uh, rainfall. So far, that's the latest from the Global Tropics Hazards Outlook. There's no tropical cycle formation yet, but we, are, we'll con but we will continue to uh, observe the Pacific in the coming months. And before we leave you, here's the latest the mid February 2024 model based for realistic uh, forecast for El Nino and La Nina. And for the latest right now, we're still at 100% and we are now feeling the effects of El Nino. And as we move into March and April, May, it will uh, decrease to 82%. And April, May, June, and May, June, July, the climate conditions will return to neutral at 70 to 71%. And then by June, July, August, La Nina conditions will start to increase at 48%. And from June, August, or I mean July, August to September, it will increase to 64%. August, September to October, increasing to uh, 70%. And uh, September, October, November, October, November, December, it will just uh, between 65 to 70% uh, probability. So this look, so this looks like a week uh, La Nina so we will continue to observe this since the uncertainty or the probability here remain uh, low uh, especially it's more than six months so we will let you know on the next uh, El so on the next Enso forecast probably by the middle of March or next week let's hope that we'll be getting the latest uh, El Nino La Nina update Okay, so let's conserve water as we uh, reel the effects of the El Nino beginning this month until uh, May or June. 
So that's the latest for this weekend. We'll see you again next week. This is Mike Padua saying good night to all. Happy weekend. Stay safe always. And thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless to all.